Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, be honest with yourself. I'm going to tell you what, something I've uh, observed, and um, even some philosophers I've read have said the same thing. Most people lie to themselves. They lie to themselves about, you know, how attractive they are to the opposite sex. They lie to themselves about how important their position is in life. They lie to themselves about a million and one things. Right, And their self-image, they develop a self-image that becomes so much that they don't even recognize their true self. Let me share a story that I've told before, right? And it's one of the most profound stories that I've ever heard, right? And it's right in line with this. And this story was first told to me by my um one of my politics teachers in college right and he was talking about a man who got his face burned right he got his face burned real badly so he went to someone and had a mask made and that person put the mask on and he had i mean life was good for him but you know it was a mask of a handsome man but and get he got women with it, he got money, he got opportunity for some fame. But then things got to him and things started going bad because uh, you know, a lot of people anybody anybody who's like conspicuously handsome or beautiful or something, they can attest to that, but that's another podcast. But, you know, it got to the point he was tired of it all and he was like willing to go back to his scarred face. So he went to the person who made the mask and said, hey, uh, take this mask off. Right. So the uh, mask maker took the mask off and then he stepped back and gasped. He's the man's face had become the mask. Now, relating that to the greatest thing. And oh yeah, with that story when the teacher told it, I'll never forget it. it was so profound. He told the story. It's an hour class. It took about maybe 20, 25 minutes to tell the story because it was longer the way he told it, right? He uh, dismissed the class. I was like, damn, that was deep as shit. <laughs> he just dismissed it, and I'm not sure what he's going through. He was one of my favorite teachers too, right? But... um. The uh, whole thing was, uh, you know, image. He had to develop a certain image, you know. Most people have that self-image about themselves, right? They think they're more attractive to someone. They think they're more important on a job. And they live by that. They make decisions based on that image, right? I mean, how many men and women have left a good mate because they thought they were all of that? Men and women. You know, you get the man thinking he's getting a little bit more money. He thinking he the man got a perfect woman right there. That self-image, he, you know, he, you know, left the person, then found out. Yeah, other people didn't think the same thing of him. He got shattered. Or women who left a good man because their self-image thought, oh, all these guys want me. Right? Think about it. Think about it. Or, you know, just going through like, or how important, like people walk into a room or something. And they think and they have such a self-image that it's like they feel like all oh, these people should want them and all of that. You know, I remember this woman, right? Woman, it was at a poetry reading way years ago, right? And, well, it was before the poetry reading, and she was there, and she was making some statements, and we were just looking at her. I mean, she was extremely arrogant, extremely arrogant. And she was like, well, you should know me. I was like, oh, no, we shouldn't. I mean, who are you, <laughs> right? But uh, that was her self-image. But then the interesting thing with her, her self-image was so, I, I would just say, she was so dishonest with herself, she didn't realize how people really saw her. 
And it's ironic, she was telling me some stuff, and I was like, uh, you can't see that these people didn't see you the same way. See, here's the problem. When people are not honest with themselves, they can't improve on anything because they're not looking at themselves in a real way. Now, part of it I understand. The ego is going to tell us whatever to keep the spirit uh, well. So if we have to lie to ourselves and feel like, well, you know, I'm all of that, you know, even though all these people are telling me something different, yeah, I can understand people have to do it. But at the same time, you have to realize that when you're getting all of this from different people and you're the only common denominator, maybe it's something that you need to be, you need to change, right? You know, you have to be honest, like, okay, this is what I'm, this is who I am, this is what I'm capable of. You know, you have to be honest, right? And, you know, the bad part of it is when people are dishonest with themselves, they actually believe their own shit. But, like I said, that hurts them. Because when it comes, because when reality hits, and reality always does, I always say this. I don't care what you're about, what you're doing. Reality is always going to smack you in the face. It's going, it's, it's going to come. You, the very way that you're carrying yourself, somebody going to tell you. If you're male or female who think that you make such a great impression on the opposite sex, you will always run into that person who's going to be like, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to share a little story about myself, right? I remember when I first started, uh, when was it? It was either, was it freshman year in college or something, right? I thought my ass could sing. <laughs> I thought I could sing and I'd sing and you know you get some people humoring you and shit till this drunk woman said, No, please don't sing <laughs> I laughed about it. I wasn't mad or anything about it though. Cause one thing I learned one thing I learned in life Pay attention and this is a lesson my grandmother gave me. She said, Pay attention when somebody says something to you, even if you don't agree with it. Just pay attention. Just listen. Right? That's why I'm um like in general I'm generally thick-skinned because I, I learned that if somebody say something, and I've had people say, I've had people tell me about myself, and I thanked them, and they did it in a calm way, and they were surprised, and I said, no, God, uh, I was taught, it's like if people say something about you or to you, yeah, they could be mean, but you just pay, you just say, all right, because sometimes you might need to hear it, right? Sometimes we, your own self-image needs to be shattered because that self-image is toxic. That self-image ain't getting you anywhere. I mean, really, people know me for relationships and talking about that and coaching. But the reality is every single person that's having a relationship issue, they got to look at themselves. A lot of people say, oh, it's them, it's them, it's them. But no, if you're honest with yourself, what are you doing? That's the key. You got to be honest with yourself, right? Then once you're honest, then, then like, i use the relationship example since we're going there. If you're honest with yourself and say, you know what, I'm not that dime or I'm not that stud, that's okay. Because then you can hit the gym or you could work on whatever you need to work on. Or you could even become at peace with it and work on your spirit and just say, yeah, nah, I'm not all that, right? And I've, I've seen that with people, people who are just honest with what they are, who they are, and they, they have a certain humility to it. Now, it's not, uh, it's not something where they putting themselves down or have a victim mentality. They just, like, they just live. Because they're honest about who they are, it's actually easier for them. Because one thing, and that's more than, I'm using relationship examples, but if you're honest about yourself as far as what you can do as a job, or what you want to do as a job, or where you want to go in life, that helps out. There's many people doing jobs or in positions that they don't want because they start, their self-image said, I'm supposed to be here, or I'm supposed to do this. But if they were honest with themselves, they would actually have more happiness in whatever they did. So that extends to every area of life. So, as always, 
Uh, something I want everyone to ponder. Anyway, y'all keep rising and transforming. Peace and blessings. <laughs>